Ever feel like you're stuck between a rock and a hard place financially? Maybe an unexpected bill showed up, or your car decided to throw a tantrum at the worst possible moment. We've all been there. Thankfully, apps like Beam are popping up to help bridge the short-term gap. But what if you run into an issue with the Beam app itself? Downloading and using the app is a breeze, but sometimes tech can be tricky. Fear not, fellow financially savvy citizen. This video will walk you through all the ways to contact Beam's awesome customer support team. Before we dive in, let's acknowledge there might be two different Beam apps you might be referring to. There's the Beam by Line Financial, which offers features like early access to your paycheck and credit monitoring. Then there's a separate Beam app used internally by some organizations. If you're unsure which Beam you're using, the easiest way to tell is to check where you downloaded it from. If it was the official app store on your phone, Apple Store or Google Play, it's likely the Line Financial Beam. If it came from a specific website or link provided by your employer, it's probably the internal Beam app. This video will focus on contacting Line Financial's Beam app, since that's the more widely used version. But if you're using the internal Beam app, don't worry. Your organization's IT department will likely be your best bet for getting support. All right, back to the Line Financial Beam. Here's the beauty of their customer service. They offer multiple ways to reach them, so you can choose the method that best suits your communication style. Method 1. In-app chat. Let's face it, sometimes you just want a quick answer without the hassle. Beam gets that. They've got a super convenient in-app chat feature that allows you to connect with a customer service representative directly through the app. Here's how to find it. Open the Beam app and navigate to your settings menu. It might be represented by a gear icon or your profile picture in the top corner. Once you're in settings, look for a section labeled help and support or something similar. Within that section, you should find a chat with us option. Click on that and you'll be connected with a Beam customer service rep in a chat window. Method 2. Phone call. Maybe you prefer the human touch of a phone call. No problem. Beam has a dedicated customer service phone number you can use. The number is plus one, three, two, three, six, four, one, four, two, two, four. Keep in mind that with phone support, there might be wait times depending on call volume. But if you have a complex issue or prefer a voice conversation, this is a great option. Method three, email. Sometimes you need to explain your situation in detail, or maybe you want a record of the conversation for future reference. That's where email comes in. Beam's customer support email address is support at trybeam.com. When you email them, try to be as clear and concise as possible about the issue you're facing. Include details like what you were trying to do in the app when the problem occurred, any error messages you received, and what device you're using. The more information you provide, the faster the Beam team can assist you. Bonus tip, the Beam website. While contacting them directly is the best way to get personalized help, Beam's website also has a treasure trove of resources that might solve your problem without needing to reach out to customer support. Head over to beam.net and explore their FAQ section. They've got a bunch of helpful articles that address common Beam app questions and issues. There's also a search bar on the website, so you can type in your specific concern and see if there's a relevant article that can help. So there you have it. With these methods at your disposal, you're well equipped to contact Beam's customer support team whenever you need assistance. Remember, Beam prides itself on 24-7 support, so no matter the time of day or night, you should be able to reach a helping hand. With that said, thanks for watching and until next time.